very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. The His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's Award for Sustainable Development has been granted to Mrs. Anna Kajimulu from Tebejuk, the former Minister of Lands, Housing and Human Settlements, Tanzania, former UN Under Secretary General of the UN of the United Nations, and former Executive Director, UN Habitat and Director General of the United Nations Office at Nairobi during a grand ceremony held at the UN headquarters. The ceremony was held last night on the the sidelines of the 71st UN General Assembly, the UNGA session. President of the current UNGA session, Peter Thompson, Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghaid, Secretary General of the Gulf Corporation Council, the GCC, Dr. Abdelatif bin Rashid Zayani, Administrator of the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, Helen Clark, and Her Royal Highness Princess Basma bin Saud bin Abdelaziz Al Saud attended this ceremony. Scores of ministers, diplomats, representatives, of Arab and foreign countries to the UN, senior UN officials, journalists and media persons were also present. On the occasion, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa congratulated Mrs. Anna Kajimulo for being the, reci the recipient of the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's Award for Sustainable Development in recognition of her contributions in supporting sustainable development efforts in many countries of the world. His Royal Highness emphasized that Ms. Tebejuk is highly respected on an international level for her efforts to strengthen cooperation frameworks that serve urban and sustainable development objectives, as well as her imprints to establish the foundations of a common collective action to achieve noble humanitarian goals. He expressed appreciation to Professor Tebejuk for her continuous and constructive cooperation, which he added has contributed to the relationship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations, resulting in accomplishing many outstanding achievements. His Royal Highness pointed out that the award was focused on the support of individual and collective initiatives in terms of sustainable development, particularly in developing countries, and was won by projects from Burkina Faso and Brazil, which had been able to achieve best practices. His Royal Highness said he was delighted that the award has been able to attain its objectives in support supporting the efforts of individuals and institutions and motivate them towards innovative solutions and projects. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the prevailing conflicts and lack of security in many parts of the world has resulted in widespread death and destruction, forcing hundreds of thousands of civilians to flee their homes and causing a dire need for emergency humanitarian assistance. He called on the international community to take necessary measures to redress the damage to alleviate the suffering of innocent civilians. The Prime Minister said that the world has to consider a new approach in terms of addressing the future of these people to help them overcome the impact of misfortunes and hardship. Economic recovery is essential in order for them to rise again. His Royal Highness added that the international community must assume responsibility to confront tragic situations that undermine efforts aimed at implementing security and peace. He said that everyone has to assist these countries to return to normalcy and achieve economic recovery and urban development. His Royal Highness called upon the international community to challenge the cause of these wars and conflicts to re-establish security and prosperity in which people may enjoy the benefits of sustainable development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that sustainable development would strengthen the capacities of countries in facing challenges, particularly terrorism. He said it is essential that the international community intensifies its efforts to improve living conditions as well as find solutions to direct energies toward productivity. He pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of Bahrain, had taken significant steps to prepare the ground for achieving the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. He said that this is being done through an integrate, integ integrated vision of development which focused on housing, educational and 
and health with the highest level of well-being of citizens as top priority. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to continue the implementation of plans that will ensure the achievement of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. This is being done based on the progress it has made in achieving the Millennium De Development Goals as acknowledged by regional and international organizations. His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom of Bahrain's interest in consolidating partnership with international organizations and agencies related to sustainable development. This interest, His Royal Highness added, that this comes out of the belief in the importance of international cooperation in achieving security and stability to meet the aspirations of the people of for development and prosperity. During the ceremony, Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he expressed the people of Bahrain's pride in the leadership and in the commitment of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to implementing the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, stressing that the government of Bahrain had successfully achieved the Millennium Development Goals and paved the way for an effective implementation of the SDGs. The Foreign Minister pointed out that His Royal Highness the Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's award for sustainable development reflected His Royal Highness the Premier's appreciation of the efforts being exerted by individuals, organizations and institutions in the field of development and his keenness on enhancing international cooperation, exchange of expertise and experiences among countries in this regard. Global leaders and officials attended a grand ceremony at the UN last night for the presentation of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's Award for Sustainable Development. More details in this report with Mohammed Shaban. The Kingdom of Bahrain organized a grand ceremony at the UN headquarters in New York last night for His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development. The ceremony was attended by the Arab League Secretary General, the GCC Secretary General, the current President of the UN General Assembly, and diplomats and officials along with members of the media. Consistent with this, His Leadership, His Royal Highness established this prestigious award to, rec to recognize outstanding efforts by individuals, organizations, and institutions in the, in, the in the development field. This year's award went to Professor Anna Kajamalo, an MP from the United Republic of Tanzania and former Minister for Land, Housing and Human Settlement Development. She is being awarded for her achievements and success in providing creative solutions for the attainment of sustainable development. It is such a humbling occasion for me to stand here in these now not, no longer so familiar working committees of the UN, but to come again in this capacity is absolutely humbling. The award aims to enhance international cooperation through the exchange and transfer of experiences and lessons learned. It aims to encourage the international community to shoulder its responsibilities towards achieving sustainable development, especially within developing nations. In the past years, the award went to leading projects from Burkina Faso and Brazil for personal and collective initiatives that aim towards achieving sustainable development goals. The Kingdom of Bahrain with its sound policies and directives remains at the forefront of achieving the sustainable development goals and providing the best for its citizens. This on top of celebrating worldwide achievements along the same domain. Mohamed Shaban, Bahrain Television News. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Founder of Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts Organization, KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first brave mixed martial arts championship matches were held yesterday today, organized by KHK MMA organization and the Khalid bin Hamad organization with the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association. The championship began with an introductory film about mixed martial arts, the history of the sport and how it spread around the world before reaching the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also highlighted the global achievements of the kingdom, after which His Highness Sheikh Khalid announced the launch of the first championship organized by the kingdom. The matches started with 20 fighters from 10 countries participating. And 
and were attended by Sheikh Khalid bin Turki bin Rashid al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Isa al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ahmed al Khalifa, Khalid Abdul Aziz al Khayyab, Chairman of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, the BMMAA, along with a number of ambassadors and officials of the youth sector in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser appreciated the support given by the wise leadership to the youth and sports sector in the kingdom, especially the sport of MMA, which recently brought Bahrain achievements and honorable results in record time, putting the name of Bahrain among the developed nations in MMA. He said Sheikh Khalid Al Khalifa played an active role by exerting great effort to promote the culture of the sport in Bahrain and at regional and Asian levels, adding that these efforts had a great impact on the youth, which in turn brought many gains such as the Brave Championship, which is a pure Bahraini concept that reflects the ambitions of, the, of His Highness to promote Bahrain and attract wide international attention to this small country. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed happiness with the launch of the first edition of this event, which is considered to be a real start in organizing global MMA events on Bahrain's ground. He wished for the emergence of more Bahraini fighters to participate and bring honorable results that will raise the name of the kingdom in global events. His Highness praised the presence and follow-up by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to the matches of this championship, which has contributed to the event's success. He expressed his great pleasure in organizing the event, which reflects his aspirations in achieving goals that enhance Bahrain's position on the world MMA sports map through holding championship in the kingdom and achieving a wider spread of the sports on Arab, Asian and international levels, enhancing joint cooperation with the International Mixed Martial Arts Association in holding championships that support the sport. He praised the strong performances from the fighters during the matches, which saw excitement and strong competition from all the fighters, reflecting positively on the event. His Highness congratulated the winning fighters and wished the others luck in upcoming championships. He also praised the Bahrainis who helped organize the event and turn it into a success. You can hear the cheers here. Hamza Kweji, this is what we expected. The fans clearly behind this man. What a tough competitor. And he is a favorite in this fight, but he has to have a ton of pressure on his shoulders, being the actually a KHK fighter yourself. So a lot of pride on the line for Hamza. Yeah, you know, I've trained with Hamza before. Hamza is a very good fighter. He's aggressive. He's going to want to take this fight to the ground. He will have the wrestling style against his Egyptian stand-up fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our fifth fight of the evening. Whew, that was intense. <laughs> Did you feel that? And the crowd's going to go. He's trying to go for the other, but he needs to bring the arm across his head. Wow, what a performance already by Hamza Quinn. Mashali walks up a little disgruntled, but so far he seems okay. Round one easily go. And, and it's over. Hamza Koheji. He wasn't having it. Hamza said, fine, that's fine with me. I'm going to go to the north south. Saw no defense, went to, for the north south choke, and he got it. A very big moment in Bahrain MMA from one of the pioneers, Hamza Koheji. North South Choke at three minutes. Give it up for the pride of Bahrain, Hamza Koheji. smiling.
coming. They oh, want to finish each other. Boy. Bam Bam he gets a choke and he taps him out. Just wow. like that. Didn't put up any sort of a fight. He was done. Brand well said. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, anything that does with sports and youth uh, in Bahrain uh, makes me uh, really happy, makes me motivated, and I want to even uh, uh, organize and get more even events in Bahrain. Alhamdulillah, step by step, we are really reaching to the, uh, to the maximum or to the worldwide level. Uh, you know, we've been competing hard in the Olympics, we've been competing hard in the worldwide uh, um, racings and events as well. But Alhamdulillah, Bahrain is, uh, is like a diamond in this uh, planet. It really shines, it's really worthful uh, between huge countries and uh, with countries with a lot of people and a lot of competitors. Um, whatever we put our hands in, is alhamdulillah with our with our people with our youth with our great teams uh, is becoming a very successful thing today or tonight we have uh, brave and it is something that's uh, gonna get really competitive in the uh, near future uh, alhamdulillah we saw a bahraini winner as a pro uh, it is a step forward inshallah we'll see more bahrainis uh, in this uh, in these uh, sports as uh, mixed martial arts it's really a, a courageous sport, a character builder. Um, I want to see more of our guys to, go, to come and to try themselves because this is the real energy releaser. Um, and again, uh, as I said, um, this event is going to grow. I'm sure it's going to grow. I'm sure it's going to get the best around the world. And it will be uh, going around the world and uh, organizing some more events. We get the instructions and we do it and we make it happen. Um, as I said uh, earlier uh, in, in a debate with the other people, everything is possible. It's not about the money, it's not about what you do, it's about the brains, it's about the team, it's about the caliber of people we have um, and the dreams that we want is going to happen. It will come true. We will have real champions, we will have good champions in Bahrain and more of them are coming on the way. So. His Majesty just points and we will make it happen. I feel great fighting in Bahrain and winning a fight is the best feeling ever. I'm living for that feeling. It feels great because uh, all my life I've been, every day before I go to sleep I dream about fighting in Bahrain. And now that's happening, it's something that I'm really happy to do, something that I really love to do. It's great, like uh, a lot of people think if you're with Sheikh Khalid or Sheikh Nasser, you only get sponsored by money. But that's, uh, but that's something that people don't see. They treat us like brothers. Whatever we need, they give us. And that's what makes fighters like at this team different from any other team around the world. Like they have, they're always there for us. And that's what pushes us forward. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, has conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and those of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Secretary General of the United Nations, wishing the meetings of the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly every success. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, who met and Secretary General Ban Ki Moon on the side guidelines of the meetings of the United Nations General Assembly in New York praised the efforts of the UN Secretary General of the past 10 years in office. The minister paid tribute to the UN Secretary General for promoting the performance of the international organization, reinforcing its role in addressing issues of concern to the international community and according a tangible interest to sustainable development issues, wishing him continued success. For his part, Ban Ki-moon hailed the role being played by the Kingdom of Bahrain at all regional and international gatherings and its valuable contributions to the settlement of the issues of the region, wishing the kingdom constant progress and influence. The meeting also tackled a number of issues tabled on UNGA's agenda. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held meetings today with the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Argentina, Susanna Malcora, the Foreign Minister of Malaysia, Dato Sri Anifa, the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Singapore, Dr. Viviana Balakrishnan, and the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Malta, George Bella. The meetings, which were held on the sidelines of the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, dealt with ever progressing bilateral relations mechanisms to further them, expanding cooperation aspects to meet common interests and underpinning development and prosperity, in addition to deepening coordination with regard to the various regional and global issues. They also touched on the most important topics tabled for discussion on the agenda of the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly and exchanged views on them.